Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, and uh, thanks for tuning in. My name is Chris Baroni. I'm with the Lakeland Arrow Country Club and Homeowners Association. I'm the Chief Executive Officer and the uh, Chairman of our Litigation Committee. And I just wanted to post uh, an update, another kind of quick update, but also um, hopefully one that's informative as far as what's going on um, with the HOA and the Country Club. So first, uh, first off, I want to say, you know, appreciate very much you guys tuning in. And if you like or um, don't, feel free to uh, click the thumbs up, thumbs down button. But then also subscribe either way if you're interested in getting some updates as far as what we're doing and getting it as straight and unfiltered as possible. So um, I did want to uh, bring up there were two lawsuits filed, one on the 17th of January this year. And then there was one filed on the 21st. So let's start off with the one on the 17th. Um, it is a lawsuit being filed by um, Orsteria Orto, who was the uh, failing restaurant and her club. Um, they weren't evicted, so I'm not sure um, what this case could. I mean, obviously, I think we know, the, you know what's going on regarding the cases and all that stuff, but... Basically, they're suing the HOA and uh, GPL, um, who they were in default with, with GPL. Um, so another, honestly, it's an easy case. Again, I don't even know who they, who wrongfully evicted them. Um, they clearly left and, uh, you know, they can claim otherwise. But the paperwork and everything we had stated before um, will clearly indicate that. Um, so... Uh, again, it's just another another attempt to try to attack the HOA um, and more than likely in concert with what I had said before with GPL. Um, yeah, people go, well, they're suing GPL. Yeah, I know. I know they are. I, I get it, but it's probably not too difficult for some people to see what's going on, you know. Um, anyway, if you don't think that's going on, great. I get it. But remember, I'm living, eating, and breathing it, so... Um, I kind of have a pretty good grasp on that portion of it. In either case, the end result is the same. Whoever wrongfully evicted them isn't in this case unless GPL did it, and then they can explain that to the judge. Okay. The next one was uh, uh, another interesting one because um, one of the things, well, this is the Lakeland Arrow Homeowners Association who is apparently now... Remember, the Lakeland Arrow Homeowners Association isn't being represented by um, anybody from this Ware or Nash, whatever law firm. Um, clearly, we know that not to be the case because we also know, as they do, that the um, the recall election was a failure um, on on several different levels, and um, even Zach Levine knows that. Um, without getting specific. It was pretty clear when we spoke to him in court on, I think it was Monday, Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday. Uh, was it Wednesday? Jeez, I don't know. Yeah, it was, it was yesterday, so maybe a Wednesday. Um, that, yeah, they, again, they don't have anything to substantiate um, all of the um, mistakes that were made in the membership recall. But this one, um, I think the case management conference is in May. Uh, that being said, um, what is interesting and I think is important is within, um, gosh, maybe, I don't know, if from the time that the imposters, you know, were, began their impostering, um, I think they have managed to lose the pool, lose pretty much the tennis courts. There's no register, no receipts, and no point of sale system in the golf shop. Um, they were told not to use um, the point of sale system that we had in there where the HOA was actually getting paid for it. Um, my understanding is, is they were to take cash or nothing at all. And which is an, actually an interesting um, thing to do because, you know, when you have an imposter like Michael Allen, um, pretending to be something, and then, you know, he's intimidated and scared employees into actually believing he's who he says he is. Um, but 
that being said, you have to try to remember this. Um, the reasoning behind that is actually more sinister than I think maybe people realize, which is, again, it's that arsonist mentality. Well, the money that we're discussing here was going to the HOA, but much like, you know, uh, uh, it's kind of like a page out of the David Smith GPL book, which is, hey, we don't want the HOA to have any money if we're going to sue them because we don't want them to have money to to um, defend themselves, right? I mean, that's what David Smith and Gary Solomon said when we met with them in our first meeting uh, at the, uh, where was it? Anyways, at one of the meeting places there in, in Westlake, Office Evolution. So um, that's where we're at. And for those of you who voted, and I know probably a lot of you didn't know you voted because it appears that the League of Women Voters isn't all too anxious to show anybody the election ballots. I think we've had at least 15 to 16 attempts. Uh, zero have been successful um, on reviewing ballots. Um, I will be putting out a video of um, Michael Allen's altercation with uh, one of our employees again. And um, the alleged TRO that supposedly is out there that I was served with or something along those lines. I'm not quite sure what they're talking about. But that being said, um, a lot of litigation for people who claim they were going to wrap it up like, like Harriet Cohen and the rest of them. So as I told you, those of you that um, who understood what I was saying and thank you for believing in me. And then, you know, unfortunately, I wish I wasn't right in this case, but, you know, the writing was on the wall from, from a while back. So, um, Hopefully, um, you guys will continue to send your dues to the 5719 Lakeland Arrow Drive address or give them to myself, make them out to the Lakeland Arrow Homeowners Association. Um, we will be depositing those for you, and I think uh, some of you already got receipts, and we'll be getting the rest of those out um, here hopefully tomorrow. Um, and bear with us because, yeah, there's a lot going on, and this was all a part of the strategy by... Um, GPL and, and uh, Wolk and Levine and a few others who were ensuring that, you know, they could try to inflict maximum damage. Just again, again, as I've said to you guys before, we're doing, <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, but truthfully, no special assessments and no raising of the dues, not because these court cases are really strong for the opponents, okay? Um, if they were, you would know about it, know about it by now. These two right here are not strong cases, and the pretend one with regards to the Lakeland Arrow Homeowners Association, um, that attorney is taking a great risk, and we have an attorney available and ready, as we were waiting for this, to go after them on about four different um, liabilities that they have pretending to be part of the Lakeland Arrow Homeowners Association. So... Um, I know that they know about it. I know that they're well-financed. I know that there's other people paying that bill. I get it. In the end, if the compass points north and that's where straight and honesty is and we're wrong, hey, listen, we'll be wrong. But um, I don't think there's even a 0.1% chance that that'll, that the recall at its, you know, the way it was ran could ever be um, legitimate. But... Hey, listen, uh, hopefully uh, I'm right, and uh, well, for some, but uh, the reality of it is that will be an affirmative action. So that means there is no insurance paying for that. Um, if, okay, again, let me rephrase, I apologize, let me rephrase that because it's, it's a little weird trying to go from, you know, to pretend to reality. So we've already notified the insurance company of the lawsuit because even though they're trying to Sue, myself, Paul Bromley, uh, Mike Human, and Dave DiNapoli. Um, clearly, what they're really doing is suing the real HOA. So we have notified uh, Attain, and we will expect coverage on a partnership and corporate governance case. Um, and as I said, the uh, the one from Osteria, um, which is cute and all, Francesco. This was the gift he was trying to tell me. <laughs> Wait till I show the texts and videos of this guy. Um, but believe me, I'm trying. It's, I'm busy. Um, this was, you know, because he was warning me, trying to talk shit in texts about uh, this grand gift that we're going to get. Um, 
But in either case, hey, I give a shout out to uh, go to Sprig and, and Fig over there in Calabasas. Say hello to Francesco and his uh, new wife, um, Claudine. They, uh, from everything I've heard, run a pretty good place over there. Um, and uh, they're in Calabasas again. What is it? Uh, Sprig and Fig, I think is the name of it. So uh, if you guys want to go there and spend your money on a place that's uh, suing the HOA, feel free. Listen, like I said, uh, I've heard it's a pretty damn good place. But um, there you have it, you guys. Have a great one. And uh, Francesco, we'll see you soon, buddy. Take care.